What's good, game reviews? Is your boy Nikki back with another video? In today's video, I'm gonna go over some quick ways to level up. As y'all can see, I'm at level 40, so I am very experienced. But I did want to try it on another account, so I grinded these whole, all these solos, not all these, but the um, the new rookie premiere solos. I grinded all those. I guess they're actually at the bottom. Not sure why I went to the top, boys. We are thinking, but I grinded all these solos just to see how many mutt levels it add up to on a backup account. Because again, you need to get to mutt level 30 for one of the Madden tokens. So I started off playing all these solos on a backup account that I was already level four on, I think, or level three, and I got all the way up to level 15. Meaning, if you just start these solos fresh and you're one of the lower overall, you should be able to get 10 to 15 overalls just based off doing these solos. So make sure y'all are doing all these solos. This will also give you a token, so you get a token for all these solos, and from that you get up to about level 16. So from there. What you're gonna wanna do is honestly a hundred percent up to you. But the solos that I've been looking at to do are starting off with this superstar solos. Four stars per solo. Some of them are as simple as score a touchdown before the game and score a passing T D. Getting your four stars in eight hundred XP. Each level at the lower level I think is like ten thousand XP. At the higher level I think it was Mutt level 39 was like 17,000 XP for me. I was just looking at them to see how much they changed based on that. On average, they don't really change that much. So if you're like already level 15, doing all those Ricky Premier solos will probably make you really close to Mutt level 30. Another solo that I would recommend y'all do is the, um, hmm, where is it? I guess this one. Yeah, yeah. The Gridiron Guardians 2. Now the only reason you're doing this is because it's 5 stars per solo. And as y'all can see they are pretty simple. And that's a 1000 XP per game you play. So just get all those done is what I would recommend. And as y'all can see these are some of the more longer solos. But I'd recommend doing the Gridiron Guardians as like your third one if you're just doing XP if you actually want like good rewards obviously you want to do some of the newer stuff the newest one that's actually pretty good is going to be the draft some of these solos obviously are only four stars so that's only getting about 800 XP versus that 1000 XP so if you're 100% grinding XP I would do the gridiron guardians just because they're five star solos that's my only reasoning for that but obviously if you're looking for more of the rewards you'll get two NCAC um, 97 overalls and then 193 plus at the very bottom, right? One, oh yeah, and this 89 plus here in the middle. So if you're looking just for rewards and the XP, I'd do something like that. But if you're looking purely XP, I definitely would go Gridiron Guardians. Another way you're going to do XP is through the daily objectives from Rookie Premier. So I guess not dip. You, you know what I mean, boys. <laughs> the objectives for these now, as y'all can see it's gonna be this far left one here you need 87,000 XP for doing all of these missions as y'all can see well objectives as y'all can see I only finished six of them they are some of them are hard to do obviously I gave up on head to head and stuff for the year my overall is 94 I sold off the entire team to make sure to finish all this rookie premier shenanigans and now we have 300,000 coins which will likely just go to a golden ticket giveaway or something fun like that Unless I need more Ricky Premier players for something else. So as y'all can see, some of these challenges pretty simple, like score four T's in a single four touchdowns in a single game for three thousand XP. The Ricky Premier sets each one of those gets you a good amount of XP as well. So make sure you're doing those. Yeah, like get five thousand offensive yards. Like those would just come naturally if you're playing the game. Same with the passing yards. Bunch of simple stuff that'll also help you get cards in the rookie premiere cards for free so that's pretty nice too the head-to-head -head ones again i kind of gave up on those the more i thought about it i was like mm, it's gonna take too long so i decided not really to focus on those and i kind of just left it as is with those objectives but they will give you a lot of xp if you can do them other than that it's not really much else to talk about so we're gonna go open a rookie premiere pack just for the fun of it mainly maybe we'll get lucky and get joey porter in there I wish I know that ain't gonna happen, man. I've seen very few of him pulled in training variety. So those are definitely hard. I only, actually, I only saw one Joey Porter pulled out of 
the um, training variety, and that was like right when he was being released at 10:30. All right, 88. That's not horrible. And ending with two power-ups. Not a bad pack there. Other than that, it's been your boy Dakizzy. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. And I'm out of here. Peace.